Hi guys, it's Diane here from UK Disney Vlog. So we're continuing with our top five series. So this week it's our top five rides, or my top five rides anyway. Um, so in reverse order, number five is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Yeah, watching all your vlogs, I realise that some of you don't actually like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. We love it. It's a real, I think that's probably because of the family aspect of it. Um, Harry, it was one of Harry's very first little roller coasters and he just loves it. He fell in love with the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and seeing it through his eyes and how much he enjoys it, I think is what makes us enjoy it as a family. I think it's really cute with the different ride systems and the rocking cars. Yeah, I, we love Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Would I queue up for over an hour and a half for it? Probably not. I don't think I'd queue up for an hour and a half for many things. Maybe Slinky Dog Dash, but I haven't done that yet. Um, but yeah, we love it. I think it's such a cute ride. I think the theming is exceptional. I think it could do with being a little bit longer and a little bit few more twists and turns. But at the end of the day, it's a family coaster. It's not a big thrill ride. And that's probably why we like it. It's a great all rounder for all the family to go on. Hi -ho! Hi -ho! with Magic Kingdom is Big Thunder Mountain. Who doesn't love a trip down the mountain? It's really great. I absolutely love it. I prefer the one in Disneyland Paris, but this one I, I'll, I must ha I have to go on. It was the very, very first ride I ever went on in Walt Disney World and I've loved it ever since and I can't wait to go back on it again. I don't need to say anymore. It's just a great ride. Number three, number three for me is Expedition Everest. We're going up in coasters, have you noticed? Expedition Everest is a fantastic coaster. It's absolutely awesome. The theming, especially in the queues, are phenomenal. It's just beautiful and got great views. It's, yeah, it's just epic. It's a fantastic, fantastic ride. And everybody must go on it. I'm gonna try and get Harry on it again this year. He's not a massive thrill seeker if you can see what it's like. I mean, he's done Hyperspace Mountain in Paris, an RC racer, but now refusing to go back on this one. But we'll see. Um, I just love it and I can't wait to go and experience it at night because I've not yet done that. So that's going to be a number one thing for us to do this year, Expedition Everest at night. My number two is Flight of Passage. Yeah, Flight of Passage at Disney's Animal Kingdom is number two for me. It's an awesome ride and it's a very close toss up between this and number one for me. You can't beat that experience. Disney outdid themselves with this ride. It's phenomenal. And I would queue up a long time for this. I would. Um, I would probably join those queues in the morning and wait well over an hour for this ride if I have to, because it's amazing. I don't think we need to say any more about that. It's just great. So my number one, my number one ride in Walt Disney World is the Tower of Terror. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love this ride. It goes back for years and years. It's one of my first rides at Hollywood Studios I ever did. And I just fell in love with it. I get that scared, sick feeling when I'm like just about to go on it for the very first time. Even though I know what happens, it's just the anticipation and it's electrifying and I absolutely love it. I love the fact now that they've changed the drop sequences so you never know quite what you're going to get. The first year we went to Disney, Walt Disney World, my brother and I rode it six times in a row. And by time number six, with the drops being exactly the same, it was really boring. It's hard to explain, but it's really boring. So I love the fact they've changed it up. And if they ever change this ride, I know they've changed it in California to Gardens of the Galaxy, but if they ever, ever change this ride, I'd be so upset. I love it. It's the just, Tower of Terror itself is iconic. It's exceptionally themed and it's exquisite. And that is my number one ride. If I had to pick one ride, that would be it.
agree with me? What do you reckon to my top five list of rides? Drop a comment below and tell me your top five rides um, and tell me if you disagree or agree with what I've, what I've said. Um, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye.